the Apostle writing in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 10 to 15 says this, According to the grace of God which was given to me, a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another builds upon it. But let each one take heed how he builds on it. For no other foundation can be laid except that which has been laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become clear, for the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work which he has built upon it endures, he will receive a reward, and if anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as through the fire. An interesting passage where Paul is exhorting the Corinthians not to put things into their life that are sub-quality, building on the foundation of who Jesus Christ is, his identity, his mission, his purpose, his salvation that he's provided for us. But we need to be careful how we build our lives, what we put into our lives that's digestible, that's profitable, that's helpful. Uh, those things that are gold and silver and precious stones, which uh, building a, a, a building, you want to make sure that you put good quality materials in or it won't handle the, the weight of the rest of the structure. But you can't change the foundation either. It's important to note that the things that we do, how we spend our time, our finances, our words, our associations, all of it is building on the foundation of who Jesus Christ is and what he's done for us in our life. For us to squander our life on endless YouTubes or uh, entertainment or frivolity is only going to get burned. And so there's so much in our lives that we can make good use of. We can put our back into it, so to speak, and really work for the Lord and do those things that are profitable, that will endure forever. Or we can put things into our lives which will burn and then we'll suffer loss, according to the scripture. So my question is, how are you spending one of your most valuable resources, which is your time? Your time is really what tells people what's important to you. So examine your life now because when it gets examined later, you don't want to be found with just a handful of things. Amen.